really drive the collection of consumer packages from households. That's the biggest challenge. You cannot put responsibility on a specific actor without also providing that actor with the influence to kind of control their own destiny. Extended producer responsibility describes a policy mechanism whereby producers of products also take care of their products after they have been sold on the market and help to take them back into recycling systems. This helps us to drive to keep more resources and valuable materials in the economy and therefore contribute to resource efficiency. There are economic benefits uh, for, for the producer and as well for the municipalities and waste management organizations. So, so far the municipalities were responsible for treating waste. EPR is a way to shift those costs to the producers. The producers will be able to get the material back again into the loop. There is a need for more transparency. Transparency on the way uh, the DPR the schemes are organized, uh, the cost aspects, uh, the way the competition is ensured, the fair competition. Transparency is definitely one keyword. The other one is control and the share of responsibilities between the public authorities, uh, the, the obliged industry and other actors like the retailers, the waste management companies, the municipalities. EPR is not really clearly defined in the existing legislation. So we believe that that's where uh, potentially a lot of progress uh, can be made. So if you have a clearer definition of EPR, so what the responsibility actually is with which, which actor in the value chain it actually rests, that that will improve the whole uh, system of EPR. Uh, and also when EPR is defined as a uh, financial responsibility, then it's also critically important that the actor that holds that financial responsibility is also having an influence in how to design EPR in that specific country. I'm afraid uh, that uh, always when the industry is involved in the planning of the system, then uh, current business models and protecting of them uh, play a role. Polluter pays is, is the basic principle which we should follow. And so it's, uh, it should be the industry which pays. pays. That would also uh, encourage to in the industry to uh, design the products in, uh, in a better way, in a way that produces uh, less uh, waste and uh, in such a way that uh, all different types of material in the pro product are easier to uh, separate. I think the most important thing is that uh, both the policymakers and in this case obliged industry uh, remain in touch and remain uh, in conversation of how best to define uh, EPR and we feel that there's uh, a lot of room actually to strike balanced agreements because what we've learned from the Commission so far and from the consultants uh, to the Commission is that we have more or less uh, similar views on how to define uh, EPR and particularly the importance of defining EPR and responsibilities.